Hey everybody, it's Craig with Smartphone Envy. I'm here with a great face-off today. It looks like an AT&T face-off from what I can see here. We've got the HTC Vivid on the left, one of two new 4G LTE smartphones from AT&T this week. And on the right, fan favorite, Samsung Galaxy S2 from AT&T running on their so-called 4G HSPA Plus network. Before we kick this off, I want to thank the good folks at Best Buy and Mobile for setting me up with the HTC Vivid. If you're in need of a smartphone, don't forget, always stop by and see the folks at Best Buy Mobile. All right, let's kick this off. The HTC Vivid weighs in at 177 grams, definitely the heavier of the two. Sports a 4.5 inch SLCD capacitive display, QHD resolution of 540 by 960. Upper right hand corner, you've got a front facing 1.3 megapixel camera for video calls and below display, four touch sensitive keys, home key, main menu key, back key, and search key. On the back, eight megapixel camera, dual LED flash, autofocus, video capture 1080p at 60 frames per second. Battery, 1620 milliamp hour battery rated at eight hours of talk time. Up on top, three and a half millimeter headphone jack, power and lock key. On the right hand side is the volume rocker. You can also see it's quite a major fingerprint magnet. On the bottom is the microphone and on the left hand side is a micro USB port. Phone speaker is right here above the battery cover on the back. All right, next up, Galaxy S2. Weighs in at 121 grams, so it's definitely the lighter of the two. Sports a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED Plus capacitive display resolution of 480 by 800. Has a two megapixel front facing camera upper left and below the display you've got four touch sensitive keys, main menu key, home key, back key and search key. On the back again we've got an eight megapixel camera with autofocus, LED flash, video capture 1080p but at 30 frames per second. Battery 1600 milliamp hour battery rated again at eight hours of talk time. Up on top, three and a half millimeter headphone jack along with a microphone. On the right hand side is the power and lock key. On the bottom, micro USB port as well as any other microphone. And on the left hand side is the volume rocker. Phone speaker is down here in the lower right hand corner. All right, let's talk processor, pro processors. <laughs> processors, easy for me to say. All right, there we go. Both are sporting a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. On the Vivid, it's Qualcomm's 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor. On the Galaxy S2, it's the Exynos from Samsung dual core processor. Both offer 16, bytes, 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Obviously, you can increase that through the use of a micro SD card, an additional 32 gigabytes. Both offer one gigabyte of RAM. As far as Wi-Fi, 802.11 BGNN with support for DLNA on the Vivid. On the Galaxy S2, it's 802.11 ABGNN support for DLNA as well as HDMI out through an adapter, micro USB adapter. Both offer Bluetooth version 3.0 support for A2DP. The Galaxy S2 also supports high-speed data transfer. Both have GPS with support for AGPS. Both can be used as Wi-Fi hotspots. Both of them offer Android 2.3.4 Gingerbread as their operating system. The HTC Vivid offers Sense 3.0 as its user interface. And on the Galaxy S2, it's Samsung's TouchWiz 4.0. Next up, as you can see, I've been to the Android market. Let's run the Quadrant Center benchmark test on both, and we're off. Good clean start on both. Again, we're, they're both running 1.2 gigahertz dual core processors. They're both offering one gigabyte of RAM. Take a look at the displays. You've got frames per second and frame rate in the lower left hand corner on both. Again, you've got a QHD display with a higher resolution on the Vivid as opposed to the resolution of 480 by 800 on the Super AMOLED Plus display of the Galaxy S2. All right, and on the Galaxy S2, a benchmark score 2870. And we're still waiting on the Vivid. Here comes the Vivid. Vivid comes back at 18, hang on a second, that was very tiny, 1897. So our Quadrant Center benchmark test winner is definitely the Galaxy S2. Next up, let's run our YouTube comparison. Again, I've got them both running off the same Wi-Fi network, and we're off. Both set to default to play HQ. Looks like the Galaxy S2 spooled it up a little bit quicker. You do have surround sound available on the 
vivid SRS, which is nice, which is not available on the Galaxy S2. All right, let's try one more. Grand Theft Auto, and we're off. And finally, let's try Netflix on both. I've got, uh, I've switched the phones. The Vivid is up on top with the Galaxy S2 below it. Again, they're both running up the same Wi-Fi network and we're off. Alright, there's a look at our YouTube and Netflix comparison. Next up, let's take a look at Raging Thunder on both. You remember I'm doing this through a camera, so bear with me. Ooh, nice start though, huh? This is the Galaxy S2. Oh, too bad I hit that. Damn. All right, that's the Galaxy S2. The same thing on the HTC Vivid. Not quite as good a start, huh? Let's run our navigation comparison. Navigate to Starbucks. All right. Hey, son, last little street to more Tuscany Drive. I love that they both almost started at exactly the same time. So obviously, no issue in getting voice guided turn by turn, but they both started from a different spot. Interesting, don't you think? Anyway, um, no issues bringing it up they've got me going around the block a different way each time it's a Galaxy S2 as you can see no problem scrolling very smooth double tap to zoom in let it redraw pinch to zoom as well about a little bit see how it redraws not too bad, pretty quick. All right, the Vivid. Not quite as smooth when scrolling, but pretty close. Double tap to zoom in. GPS signal lost. No, oh, well, I guess we lost it on one. Been notified. Pinch to zoom. Let's go in. And redraws quite well. So obviously no problem with navigating on either one, although we did lose the signal GPS lock on the uh, Galaxy S2.